Remarkable. We saw Rolling Stone's big expose. They said, explosive story about sexual assault, gang rape at the University of Virginia. That was the original story right there. This weekend, the story appeared to collapse. Rolling Stone apologizing. Their editor uh, tweeting out the fact that there's a story that appears in Rolling Stone in which I don't have complete confidence is deeply unsettling to me. We made a judgment, the kind of judgment reporters and editors make every day, and in this case, our judgment was wrong. Rich Lowry, based on, on, on a woman who said she was assaulted at the UVA, the story did not appear to add up. Washington Post did a, 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 a lengthy expose, and you were one of the first reporters to call out Rolling Stone on this. Well, when something is so explosive, you have to be certain it's right. And Rolling Stone didn't do basic fact-checking here. I believe because they had an agenda to portray UVA as this bastion of white privilege where basically rapists rule the social life and the damage will never be undone and I think if there's any justice in the world Rolling Stone would have to give up covering music and become the alumni magazine of the University of Virginia. George my biggest fear out of this is the dam the biggest damage to me that's been done in this is that women who finally have the courage to stand up and say this happened to me and no woman if you think about the history no woman has ever gained fame or fortune by falsely accusing a man of rape or sexual assault. No woman has ever gained from it. It takes courage. And my fear is people are going to now doubt what everybody says. I believe there was still sexual assault, whether it followed the facts of the case. But that's my bigger fear. For me, the bigger issue and the issue that sort of gets buried in this is should a university be handling the investigation right. of well, a sexual police. assault? Absolutely. Absolutely I mean, right. if it was a murder, would Absolutely. the university handle it? It's like we're saying that sexual assault is not a crime. Right. I mean, this is the biggest issue that we've had in the military, where we have hammered home Absolutely that true. sexual assault is a crime. And, and, regardless so of the, and regardless of this one story, George, the statistics are there, and they're shocking. It's, it's literally one out of five. No, it's that, not. That, That's that, a bogus let, statistic. Let, 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 let me, it's let me finish. Bogus. But it's, it's, it, 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 first of all, it's not bogus. It and, bogus. And, fr and frankly, one of the things I think is really unfortunate is that when you do have young women who are courageous enough to step forward, and they then point to other young women, you get this, this sort of a, attack. And I think this mistake on the part of the Rolling Stone actually emboldens people who want to attack young women's credibility when they come forward. That, okay. that, that statistic is based on a survey that includes attempted forced kissing as sexual assault. That is not a real number. It's an advocacy Do you want me to attempt well, not, can I not, kiss you? Can well, I kiss you here? Let's talk about this later, man. It's not a crime that the police are going to be involved in and prosecute. That's an assault. That is an assault. That is a sexual assault. If I go like this at you, that's a sexual assault. If you want to kiss me, she wants to hit me. That's a sexual assault. And we're going to have to stop it right there.